We had the strongest border. We had the strongest border in the recorded history of our country, by far. We had it down to a level that they'd never seen before. We built 571 miles of wall. We had it down. We were going to build another 200. It was all done. Then the election was rigged and we couldn't put it up. We had three weeks. It was all there. And all they had to do is put up the slats, put them up. It was all done. 200 miles, actually built 300 miles more than I said we were going to do. All they had to do is put it up. And they, you know what? They took over and they didn't put it up. They sold the stuff for five cents on the dollar. Think of it. For five cents. And it's expensive. It's what the Border Patrol wanted. You know, I wanted concrete slabs and they wanted to have steel, rebar and concrete, all three. And they were right. You had to have a fence to see through. I said, what the hell do you have to see through? What are we looking at? They wanted a fence. I did everything, the board, even the panel on top. You know, it's called an anti-climb paddle. You know that? Because it makes it very hard for people. Do you ever watch these people? With 70 pounds of drugs on their back, they go up. They're unbelievable. They're like athletes. But when you have the paddle, the anti-climb paddle, it's very hard for them to get across. So I put the I gave them everything they wanted. 571 miles we built. And that's why that happened. And that's why we had such good numbers. And then I had another 200 miles that was ready to be installed. It would have been done in three weeks. And these guys said, we don't want to do it. And I said, I said, they want open borders. Nobody believed it. Why would they want open borders? They either hate the country or they're stupid. And they're not stupid because anybody that could cheat on elections the way they do is not stupid. So they either hate the country or they're stupid. So we are going to close up the border like we had it. We had the best border ever. You know, I went to Mexico and you know this and I got along really great, but I went to, to them. I told them, look, fellas, you got to give us 28,000 soldiers. They looked at me like, what a stupid request. Why the hell would they going like, why would we give him 28,000? You know, they're laughing. They think we're like, we're all a bunch of dummies, right? I said, no, no, you have to, because they've taken advantage of it, including taking 32 percent. By the way, 32 percent of what you had here is right now being done in Mexico. That's over the last 20 years, 32 percent. And they'll take the rest of it, too. And remember the story about the plan. But think of this. So I said, no, you have to give us 28,000 soldiers because we're building the wall and we need protection. And you're allowing people to walk through on the caravans. Thousands and thousands of people coming from all over the world. Yesterday, they had many from the Congo. Welcome to the Congo, people, because and where do you come in the Congo? Where do you live? Uh, we were in prison. What for? Murder. Oh, great. So they're being put. And who can blame? They're coming from Africa. They're coming from Asia. They're coming from different parts of the Middle East. They're coming from Yemen. We're bombing Yemen. You know, here's this idiot is again bombing, bombing. When I came in, they were bombing. I got to stop. You don't have to bomb. Every bomb is a million dollars. You know that. One million. Every time you see a little flash, it's a million. But more importantly, you're killing a lot of people. You don't have to kill the people. We don't want to kill people. We want a solution to things.